Well, hello, my YouTube friends and family. So I decided every once in a while maybe to throw some books out there that maybe some crafters are interested in for junk journals or whatnot. And this was an older book, Emily's Imagination. Emily's Runaway Imagination by Beverly Clearly. And this is what the cover of the book looks like. And they look for certain things like there's the card right there from the library. And some people like the little watermarks and, you know, they say it gives the book character. <laughs> so here's here's the what the book looks like. I'm going to try to turn it where you guys can see it. But this was written in... 1961 is the copyright date. So there's one that could have potential. And some of these I'm just going to set aside in case somebody's interested. I don't really have prices on these. It's kind of like making off her. <laughs> and then here's my books of the Bibles stories. This one has some character in it too. It's got a little watermarkage. For the most part, when I do see watermarks come through my store like on books they were they get recycled so but there are some people that tend to like these and then these here are one and two of the funk and waggle new encyclopedia and i only have volumes one and two this is what the binding looks like these are what the books look like I think I have these for two dollars a piece some I have marked but like the other two would probably be cheaper because these are in excellent condition that's why I got two dollars on these a piece I always do buy conditions of books when I sell them this has got some maps in it I don't I'm trying to show you guys to flip through here but these are like letter a's and then this is another funky wagnall and it's three i don't have the whole set i only have three hits and books that fell i only have uh three of this edition and these are these are a dollar a piece sometimes they're two sometimes they're one i mean i can make an offer on these it's no big deal with me, though, it's mainly shipping. Like, when people want to buy books and ship them, it's, like, it's hard because you can, like, buy books sometimes for a quarter, you know, at your location. But it's hard for me because it's more than a quarter to pay for shipping. But these are some books I set aside. And uh, I'll probably put these in yard sales in the future for that purpose. But right now they're in the store. But there they go. Great condition. So thanks for tuning in. You guys have a great day. Bye.